So with all the election stuff going on here the last few days, there's a story that kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit. And it surrounds Algerian boxer Alin Khalif. Remember, Khalif was the, the male boxer competing, competing against females in the Olympics and eventually won a gold medal. And Khalif was championed by mainstream media, the ESPNs, the NBC Sports of the World. Of course, NBC is going to, you know, promote it because NBC has the rights to the Olympics. And, and those that pointed out that, hey, here's a man fighting against women in the Olympics. Bad things are going to happen. And... You know, we had one fighter pull out of their of their fight after what forty six seconds because she feared for her health and safety. You know, and this has been a trend the last few years in sports where we have more and more men who can't compete with the guys saying, "Oh, by the way, I'm a woman now." You have to let me compete against women. You know, Leah Thomas was the first of this when it came to swimming. And then it's moved into cycling, um, track, um, bicycling, weightlifting. There, there's, there's weightlifters out there now that have broken all the female records because they're guys. But this one here, folks, um, has taken another twist. Iman Khalif. Um, remember how people were shouted down about how, oh, you're just, you, you, you don't know what you're talking about. There's no proof. Well, guess what? Eh. This is from Breitbart, Warner Ty Houston. This was um, put out there. On November 4th, the day before the election, controversial, I can't talk today, controversial Algerian Olympic boxer has internal testes, a micro penis, and XY chromosomes. Things the IOC totally flat out ignored. The case of controversial Algerian boxer who won gold at the 2024 Paris Olympics has taken another turn with the report that claims Iman Khalif not only has male XY chromosomes, but also internal testes and a quote-unquote micropenis. So tell me again, this person's not a man. Khalif became the focus of controversy in August during the Paris Olympics after the International Boxing Association had barred the boxer from competing in its sanctioned fights due to medical tests that the group says showed Khalif was biologically a male. However, Olympic officials, oh, they just ignored that. They refused to abide by the IBA's ruling and allowed Khalif to fight as a woman. Consequently, Khalif thoroughly and easily beat every female opponent to win gold in boxing. Hmm. But now, fast forward to November, a report on Khalif's biological status reportedly assembled by the Kremlin Victoria Bict Hospital in Paris, France, and I hope I pronounced that right, and the Mohamed Lamine Debanay Hospital in Algiers, I hope I pronounced that right, reveals that the IBA may have been correct in its ruling that Khalif is a male. Say what? The report claims that Khalif suffers from a 5-alpha reduct reductase deficiency, which is a disorder only found in males, and that's according to Riddux. I'm not going to get into the, the, the gist of this article, but if you want, I'll link the article down below in the description, just so you know. The report on Khalif adds that he has internal testes and a micropenis. It also adds he has no uterus or breast tissue. It also finds that Khalif has XY 
chirotype chromosomes and testosterone at typical male levels. Uh-oh. The test further suggests that Khalif's parents may have been blood relatives. So, again, the IOC found nothing wrong with a man fighting against women in women's boxing. So, just thought I'd throw this one out there for you folks. Again, I'll link this uh, article in the, into the uh, description below. Tell me what you guys think. I mean, I did a couple of videos on this back during the Olympics. And, I mean... There, there comes a point in time when this stuff's got to stop. Where we end the madness of men competing in women's sports. So, sound off down below. Leave a comment. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thanks for tuning in. TGIF, and I will see you guys later.